Dustin, uh, first things first, congratulations on, on a great win. Give us an idea. I mean, I got to imagine it's kind of an adrenaline dump, but what's the uh, what's the feeling like right now? It hurts. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I'm proud of myself. I uh, made a couple mistakes in there, but I stuck to the game plan and used my jab and used footwork. Got hit with a couple leg kicks I didn't want to get hit with more than a couple. Um, but, you know, I'm growing and, and learning still, and I felt like I, I fought a good fight. Yeah, we certainly wouldn't expect you to be unscathed after a fight like that, but, but you did bring the crutches in. Do you think there's any, any serious injury? Is it just a little soreness? What's going on? I'm not really sure. It's pretty swollen. I can't bend it that well. But uh, I got that, a couple stitches. I might have a crack in my left hand. Uh, but, hey, this is fighting. I know you wanted to out finesse them. It ended up being kind of a, a gut check brawl in there. I mean, uh, did, you, did you know that this was the type of fight ultimately that you were probably going to be in despite saying that you know you wanted to out finesse them? Yeah, I kind of, uh, over this past week, fight week, every day when I laid down in bed, I kind of thought about the possibilities this fight could take, and I knew I was going to have to dig down deep. I knew trouble would present itself, and, and, uh, but I just stayed tough and believed in myself, and, and we got it done. Things were going your way early, and then he caught you, and uh, you staggered. It looked like there was a possibility of the fight that you know your, your fight was going to be over. Do you do you remember that sequence? Do you remember what happened? Do you remember how hurt you were? <clears throat> yeah, I uh, didn't see the shot. I don't know if he looped the shot or overhanded. I think it hit me behind my left ear or somewhere on my left side, and uh, I just didn't see it. So I went. I backed myself up to the cage, which is something I don't want to do against a guy like that, especially when they hurt you. And he hit me with another elbow without while I was on the cage. And I said I had enough of this. I circled out, started jabbing again. Uh, I felt like I got my wheels under me pretty quick. Uh, and, uh, you know, back to the game plan, back to throwing jabs at the body in the head. I pokes uh, stopped the fight a little bit. Can you kind of comment on that? And, and uh, you know, if you felt like you were at fault there, kind of what happened? Uh, I definitely, at fault. What do you mean? I mean, well, he complained that one of it at the end after he had poked you a couple times. So, I mean, they nah, were like, we kind of back and forth. Nah, yeah, nah, nah. That, that was my pinky, actually. I felt it go in, go in his eye, but that was at the end of the round. I don't think it got in that bad. He kind of laughed it off. We, we talked a little bit about it. We were saying that wasn't as bad as yours, and he was laughing and stuff. Uh, but he poked me two times. I know it was an accident. I told him after, you know, when they restarted the fight, I said, I know you're not dirty. And then, uh, but, you know, we're fighting these gloves. They're, they're open. You know, so sometimes you run into stuff like that. It just felt like my eyelid was kind of flipped. I can still see. It just felt like it was something was weird. But hey, you know, we kept fighting. But ultimately, you got the, the, the fourth round finish. I mean, uh, it, it was his leg kick that opened it up. You know, I mean, right? His signature move. Did, did you know that that counter was gonna be there? I mean, was that something that you thought you could finish the fight with? Was counting over that kick? Uh, Tiago Alves, before we walked out there, said when he gets too happy with that leg kick, let's plant and throw something down the middle. And uh, that's what we did. You know, but I, I took too many of them. There's no, you know. I, even if that was the plan to, to sit down and take shots, I need to absorb them better or change my angle to where they're not flush and uh, lifting my body off balance and stuff like that. Uh, I need to make some adjustments on my end. Honestly, this whole camp, I, I expected him to throw outside leg kicks. So I watched the Michael Johnson fight a few times, and uh, he was switch kicking a lot. And he really didn't throw a whole lot inside on Michael Johnson. And that's what I expected. So it was just a, a different different fight than I thought it was going to be w when it comes to leg kicks. And last thing for me, I, I know you want the title shot next. Dana was here. Uh, he, I think he said that you're you're a contender for that shot, but maybe didn't commit to it when he was on the Fox show. Did you have a chance to, to talk to him at all or talk to the matchmakers and, and, and get a sense of what they think? No, I haven't talked to anybody. So I'm not sure I walked by Dana while he was in the interview, but he might have been live on Fox or something. So I couldn't. I just, when, I, when he saw me, I said, it's time. It's time, you know. And, uh, but he couldn't say anything. He was, he was doing an interview. I know you said you're having trouble with that right leg. Is the left one any different? Is it really? Left one's fine. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me, what do you, do you learn anything about yourself in the middle of a fight like that? I mean, just from the outside watching something like that, it's an incredible spectacle. Do you learn anything about yourself just be going through that? Uh, you know, it's such a crazy experience to dig down like that and then have back and forth and just bloodied up fight, you know. Uh, I was just happy. My cardio felt really good, you know. Uh, my, my leg, I was worried about another round and a half on that on that uh, was kind of in the back of my head, but my muscle endurance, my cardio felt incredible. And uh, yeah, but I already knew this about my, you know, I knew I knew that I can dig down and do this. Did you feel at all like you were battling the crowd? I mean, obviously, Justin had a big contingency here. They were booing often when they're in the eye pokes and the point taken away. Did you, did you feel that during the fight? Did you hear that? Not at all. I kind of heard it on the walk out to the cage. They, they were booing me and yelling crazy stuff, you know, but, uh, and I heard, you know, they obviously cheered him and booed me when I walked out, but, hey, like I said, hometowns, townhomes, family reunions, I'll beat you anywhere. After the second eye poke and the doctor came out, what was, uh, what was discussed? Were you worried?
worried at all that they, they could stop it? Yeah, especially with the whole Eddie thing. Uh, here I was again sitting in front of Herb Dean with the, with the something going on. I was like, I, I know, I know the not to, I know the word not to say. I can see, I can see. Even if I can't see, I can see. Or actually, Herb said I'm gonna call the doctor, and I said no, no. The first time, he said I'm gonna call the doctor, and I said, I said no, 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 don't, do, don't do it. And I restarted the fight, and I still, it was still blurry. And in the back of my head, I was like, what the, what the hell are you doing? But I just, I'm glad I won, man. What did the doctor say then? Uh, do you need the whole five minutes? Do you think you, you, you can see clear if you, if we give you five minutes? And I was like, just let's go, let's just fight. How happy is your team with your striking? You seem to have the jabs and the, and the boxing was there right from the get-go. So obviously it was a big point, uh, point of focus in the, in the fight game. My camp was, was a lot of boxing. Uh, we added some extra days of boxing, extra footwork days. Um, you know, a lot of hard bag work just for, for muscle endurance, for punching power. I boxed a lot. It was, it was, I boxed and wrestled this whole camp. And uh, I think it paid off. I have a great boxing coach, Di Davis, who's put a lot of time into me. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate everything he does. And he, he's the man. And we're still starting. I th I'm a better boxer than I showed tonight. I made a lot of mistakes. And uh, I got to tighten some things up. You know, he wouldn't say it, but their camp feels like that stoppage for the IPO gave you a chance to rest and recover. Do oh, like don't start that. Do you feel like that, that played any factor at all? No. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, let's not be ridiculous here. It feels like every time I win, every time I come out here and put it all on the line and beat somebody's ass, somebody, you know, there has to be something. You know, oh, he got needed illegally by Eddie. He wanted out of that fight. Eddie's over here saying Dustin's going to quit in this fight. I fought, I fought them both. I felt Dustin break. And, and then we got that. Now, if they're saying this shit, now we got an eye poke. Well, don't fucking poke me in the eye then. It's simple. In that first round, and you were landing the combinations over combinations, did you feel that this fight was yours to win? Uh, I felt like I started running away with it when he started lunging off balance to, to, to counter, you know, to pop shot me and try to counter me. I, I felt like when he did land, there wasn't anything on it. I felt like he was, wasn't extending and snapping out his punches. He was kind of arm punching and not extending his arm all the way. So he was like, you know, not even getting his full reach out of it and his full pop. I, I just felt like he was making some mistakes. And, uh, but also in the middle of the fight, I felt like I was standing in front of him a little bit too much when I would bite down and throw. So, yeah, after a few exchanges, I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this guy out. Were you surprised that his punches didn't feel as powerful? Besides that one I didn't see, he, he really didn't hurt me with any punches at all. Um, I felt like he was a little slow. He's very flat-footed, but he puts everything on every punch. So, you know, he, he stands real flat-footed. His knees against the fence and his elbow, were, were better shots than a lot of the punches he threw. He need me in the thigh, he need me in the stomach one time that I felt. Um, but yeah. In the lead up to this fight, you talked a lot about staying disciplined and how much you wanted to stay disciplined. Uh, in, in the past, you allowed yourself to get sucked into those brawls. Are you, are you proud of your, do you feel like you stayed disciplined throughout the fight? I feel like there was f flashes of, of the brawling style that I don't want to do. But I felt like I was disciplined behind my jab, doubling up my jab, trying to set up my cross off my jab. I threw a lot of looping shots, which I didn't want to do. Uh, but I was trying to go around his guard and get him behind the ear. I threw a lot of looping hooks um, that I wanted to try to aim for the ears. And uh, because of that, I would throw a looping hook and then throw a looping left hand, just kind of brawling style. And I don't want to do that. I want to be a little bit cleaner. But man, I'm living and learning. And uh, I'm getting better every time out. How do you feel you would match up? I feel like my wrestling and jiu-jitsu is so underrated. People have no idea. And uh, I, I would love for a chance to show you. What's the first thing you're going to tell your daughter when you get back home? I'm taking her to the zoo Monday. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited, man. I love her so much. And uh, she's almost two, so now she knows what's going on. And this last, her, dropping her off with my wife at the airport this last time was really tough, you know. She's never, like, turned around and cried, like, wonder where I'm going. So uh, I, I miss her, man, and I can't wait to see her. After the fight, you got a little emotionally pointed off, off to the side. Uh, who was that in the message? That was my wife sitting cage side. And, uh, you know, I used to fight for myself, and now I, I fight for my family. So it's just a whole different, whole different world now. Dustin, when you addressed the crowd, do you think they were a little bit shocked that you said that? And were you happy with some of the positivity that you, they finally gave you that you earned? Uh, upset when I said what? They were shocked when you were just like, you need to cheer for me now. You know, you booed me on the way in. I mean, how, 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 how could you not?
you know, that's what you came to see, right? You bought a ticket to see a fight. And, and, and we just put it all out there and left it all out there. You know, we, 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 we had a shootout. We had a desert shootout, and one man was standing at the end of, when the smoke cleared. You know, I think uh, if you're a fight fan, you can appreciate it, whether you're rooting for Justin or rooting for me, you know. Um, but it doesn't matter. It seems almost silly to ask, given what you just went through, but do you feel like you want a long break after this? <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see. I want to go back home. I got some buddies fighting next month. I want to help them get ready in Louisiana. And... Uh, yeah, I might take a couple of days, go on vacation for a week or something like that, and, and then I'm right back at it. I don't want too long off, but if an opportunity comes up, I'll come back sooner, you know. But when, we'll, when your daughter sees you all beat up, how does she react to that? She, she knows how to say Bobo now, so she's going to be tossing that word around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo, Bobo. But uh, I, I wear this proudly, man. Win, lose, or draw, I put everything into my training camps. I, uh, I push myself mentally, physically every day to be the best. And I, I stopped listening to critics a couple fights ago, stopped caring about what people think. And I'm just, you know, this is just what I do, you know. Is there any other fight that interests you right now, or is it just to be, is that the only thing that matters right now? I want to fight for gold, man. I'm not chasing rematches with Connor, rematches with Eddie, rematches with anybody. That's not my goal. My goal isn't to get even with these guys. My goal is to prosper and be a world champion and, and make money and retire and say I did it. Uh, you know, I just want to go to sleep with that belt around my waist one night and tell my wife I did it. Well, you know, years and years ago, like in 2006, my wife was, I didn't have a car. She would drive me to weigh-ins. We would sleep in broken down motels and then I would fight the next day, just me and her, you know? And uh, I just want to say I did it, man.